Hi, and welcome to part two of our video series on our Summer 19 release highlights. My name is Neil Kostecki. I'm a senior product manager at Caveo. And with me today is Esme Bouchard, our new associate product manager. Today we're going to take you through some of the features in our new Summer 19 release. But first, let's take a look at the themes for this release. In this release, we're bringing tools for deeper agent insights and knowledge creation, more personalized self-service experiences, and expanded Caveo platform use cases. In this video, we're going to focus on that second theme of personalized self-service, and we're going to look at the community recommendations component, a new lightning component that's available. All of the features can be found on the Caveo Cloud new features page. There you'll find links to documentation and information that's going to help you take advantage of these features. And if you want to get started with the component, you can just go straight to the App Exchange and click the Get It Now button and get started. So Esme, um, can you go ahead and show us how we can get started with the Recommendations Lightning component in our Lightning community? Yes, definitely. Great. So here I am on a Lightning community. I'm currently viewing a knowledge article about mountain bike trail tips. I have some related articles right here on the right, but maybe I want some recommended content as well. So uh, we can switch to the builder, search for the Coveo recommendations component, simply drag and drop that onto the page. I'm going to give it a unique name right here. Switch back into preview mode, and in one click, set up the search page. And there we go, with a few clicks, I have a recommendations component that will be based on users similar to myself, and that will be related to the content that I'm currently viewing. And now I'll hand it over to Neil, who will show us how this works on the back end. Great, that was really cool, Esme, and super easy to get started. What I want to show is on the Caveo Cloud side in the administration console, how you actually use machine learning to get that content in front of the user. So I'm here looking at my query pipelines. You can see the Neil's community recommendations. The search hub condition matches the one that you entered on the component. So that's how we tie the front end to the back end. And if you open this up and we go into the machine learning section, you can see I've got my model listed here that's driving these recommendations. I'm going to flip over into the model section and just quickly show you what this model looks like. So you can see we've got a count of the number of events that are being analyzed by it. We can see some of the information about the model. And we can go into the configuration to also see how much data we're actually consuming and, and using to determine those recommendations. So you can see the frequency. I'm going to refresh this every day. And I'm basing it on one week of, of past user actions. So when we talk about similar users and similar sessions, it's coming from that one week of data. We could also do other things. We could learn from specific sets of data or recommend specific types of content if, let's say, we only wanted to recommend YouTube videos or a particular type of content. Uh, we can also make those changes here. So these are some of the options that you have, and it's really this easy to be able to get machine learning in front of your community users. Great. Thanks, Neil. That was really interesting. It's great to see how easy it is to use machine learning to power recommendations in a Lightning community. Yeah, it's super easy to get started. Yeah, it's awesome. So there's lots of helpful links in the video description. So take a look at that. And don't forget to check out our two other release videos for the summer release. Thanks for watching.